There are four principles that give rise to all economic behavior. We call these economic laws. You saw one of these laws in an earlier unit, that choice involves a trade-off because societies are forced to choose among competing needs and priorities. Another is that everything is scarce. The principle of scarcity simply means that all things exist in finite supply. Scarcity is obvious in some cases. For example, it is obvious that food is scarce because the amount of food that exists is finite. Scarcity is less obvious in other cases. For example, advocates of alternative energy claim that solar power is limitless. In fact, the materials and expertise required to harness and maintain solar collectors are finite. Therefore, solar power is also finite. This is the reason why energy derived from oil is cheaper than energy derived from solar power. Similarly, even though there is more fresh water on the planet than humans need, and even though more fresh water falls from the sky than humans consume, fresh water is a scarce resource because we must expend scarce resources to draw the water and ship it to where it is needed. The third economic principle is that the world does not operate in a linear way. Humans are used to thinking linearly. For example, if it takes me five minutes to clean one room, then it should take me ten minutes to clean two rooms. If it costs $100,000 to build a 1,000 square foot house, then it should cost $200,000 to build a 2,000 square foot house. Humans evolved linear thinking because it is easy to think linearly, and in many cases, linear thinking provides an approximation that is good enough. In fact, almost nothing in the world operates linearly. For example, launching a 2,000-ton rocket into orbit requires more than twice the fuel needed to launch a 1,000-ton rocket into orbit. The satisfaction you experience from eating two pieces of cake is less than twice the satisfaction you experience from eating one piece of cake. If it costs a firm $10,000 to produce 1,000 dresses, it may only cost $15,000 to produce 2,000 dresses. The last and perhaps most important economic law is that people respond to incentives. When an activity becomes more costly to perform, people will perform that activity less frequently. When an activity becomes more profitable to perform, people will perform the activity more frequently. For example, in an attempt to protect elephant populations, Mozambique outlawed the sale of ivory. Because it is much easier to catch people who raise elephants for profit than it is to catch people who poach wild elephants, the law made it much more costly for entrepreneurs to raise elephants, but not too much more costly for poachers to poach elephants. As a result, over a five-year period, Mozambique's elephant population fell by more than 90 percent. Conversely, Zimbabwe did not outlaw the ivory trade. Because raising elephants for their ivory was legal, the cost to entrepreneurs for raising elephants was low. Because the entrepreneurs make profit from their elephants, they have incentive to protect the elephants, and it became very costly for poachers to poach the elephants. As a result, over the same five-year period in which Mozambique's elephant population fell by 90 percent, Zimbabwe's elephant population rose by almost 60 percent. The four fundamental economic principles are everything is scarce, every choice involves a trade-off, the cosmos is a nonlinear place, and people respond to incentives. In this unit, you will examine each of these in greater depth.